This region is a very vital and uh, investment friendly region. Uh, the willing to participate in a future hydrogen economy is very uh, strong. It is a buzzing region and a region uh, who is willing to tackle climate change as both as to build up a new economy. And what I found here are investors, are companies and of course um, states um, who are willing to invest and to let investors in and to participate in international uh, corporations and um, I hope that the German government will take all these offer and turn it into something good. First of all, the um, PV and uh, wind power is extremely competitive here. So we speak here about one or two cent per kilowatt hour for renewable electricity. And having said this, says or shows that the um, capacity of uh, producing hydrogen, green hydrogen in this uh, region is extremely high and extremely attractive for Europe. Uh, no region in the world will build up an hydrogen economy by its own because we come from renewables, electrolyzers or other technologies to produce hydrogen. Then to transport uh, the hydrogen, either the hydrogen or ammonia, methanol, whatever derivatives we are speaking about. We speak about the off-taker market, so no country in the world will be able to cover all of this by itself, so we need partnerships. In Germany we have a need for green or let's say climate friendly hydrogen, because in the beginning we will need turquoise or blue hydrogen, for instance for our steel makers, for the chemical industry, but also for the mobility sector, think about ships and um, airplanes uh, which will use e-fuels but also the heating uh, market still the market in Germany where we have to see the most CO2 reduction in future also there we need huge quantities of H2 um, and that's why I talk about bringing the dots together so I am CEO of Germany's largest grid operator, so uh, we used to bringing dots together and I would do the same here with the region and German off-takers. Well, the investment we speak about goes up to billions and to invest such huge amounts of money will require a safe guideline is safe. Um, we need a um, regulatory framework which allows even large investment to be sure. And we have to organize that frameworks in different areas of the world come how together. So one instrument is to have clear, a clear certificate system what is green hydrogen or what is um, uh, climate friendly hydrogen and with such a certificate system we could trigger a global market. I'm convinced um, just when we have a fluid global H2 market we really uh, can um, cover what we want to have, we can cover the um, demands of the off-taker but also of the producer who have to be sure that the hydrogen they produce will, will find their way in the off-taker markets. And so we really should force uh, to set an international accepted um, certificate a system uh, in place uh, to trigger a really liquid um, global H2 market. Well, green hydrogen is by definition comes from um, the resource of renewable energy and is then by electrolysis uh, converted into hydrogen, but that doesn't mean that uh, the other one, let's say blue hydrogen, which just captures CO2, uh, is not as climate uh, friendly. It's a more question of exception and where we see um, the quantities we need in the near uh, future. 
So I'm convinced we need all colors because the demand of hydrogen in the late 20s, early 30s are really huge. Alone in Germany, we see a market of 57 terawatt hours uh, of hydrogen uh, demand that we can't cover with our own renewable resources. So we will see different technologies. And what we, when we look back 20 years ago, when we started with renewables, um, I don't know if you remember these old fashioned windmills and look what we have now. Now to define which technology we definitely don't want and to narrow the space, to narrow the road we want to uh, go on that isn't really wise. We should keep it open for investments, for ideas, for innovation and not define right now what we want to have in 20 years.